This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. We are not making any legal claims having to do with any of this. These are all alleged, alleged. opinions. Alleged. <laughs> alleged. Alleged. Entertaining. Enjoy. <laughs> Herpes draw near into my prayer incline in arts gymnastic and in fraud divine. Dire weapon of the tongue which men revere. Be present, Hermes, in thy suppliant here. Welcome to Third Eye Bind, episode 52, Twin Flames, part two. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Can I just wear a mustache for like fun? Absolutely. Maybe I will. Yeah. I look like my brother. Yeah. It's frightening how much <laughs> I look like my brother. We look like twins. We look like twins. <laughs> twins. Huh. What is that? Speaking of twins. Speaking of twins. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm Laura for now. And More on that later. <laughs> I'm still Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Third Eye Fine. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so <laughs> funny to me. I'm Laura for now. It's like Nathan for you. <laughs> and Woo! welcome to another episode of Third Eye Bind. Yes, welcome, welcome. But before we begin, if you like us, please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your hairstylist, tell. The person checking you out at Target about a podcast. I went to get a quiche today and told everyone. Yeah, and in, you got espresso the, cookies. And they were delicious. And they were delicious. Shout out to El Sereno Green Grocer. Green Grocer, sponsor us. We love you. Give us cookies. <laughs> sponsor us in cookies. Sponsor us in food. Honestly, we're okay with that. Uh, and if you really, really like us enough to watch us on your TV, we like you. We hope that you will subscribe to our Patreon. Or consider a donation to our cause at patreon.com slash third eye mm-hmm. And if you post about us, please tag us. Tag us. Tag Word of us. mouth is important. Mm-hmm. And, and we love you. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to the show. In today's episode, we're talking about <sighs> Twin, Twin Flames. Flames. Again. Part <laughs> two. Part two. Part Part two. Two. Because Part one two. was not enough. One was not enough for you guys. No. You loved it so much. Well, and we did that episode and it was cr- critically acclaimed. Critically acclaimed. Um, award nominated winning. for many awards. Many. <laughs> Is that the episode we won the award for? Did we? I don't know. I think it was, um, was oh. it Twin Flames? Or was it just the category of best vlogs? It was the category. Oh, we're just categorically the best. We don't have a um, trophy yet. But according to your views on YouTube, <laughs> I'm going to make one myself. We would really like to have our trophy, please. Yeah, uh, we love it. We, we cleared a spot. It's ready. <laughs> please. Just saying. I don't have any first place trophies we would anywhere like in Me my either. collection. I'm always um, most improved. Second place. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> They're like, that's so brave of you to be here. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Here's a ribbon. I need to put them up. It'd be okay if you didn't come back again. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm literally gonna have one made for us. Yeah, if they don't, send I'll us just our award. Google what they look because they're. I mean, it's been years, yeah. and I would like my award. And I mean, respectfully, if we win again this year. We would love it. <laughs> anyway, we would love our award. Uh- <laughs> But okay, in the time since we did our Ooh. incredible Twin Flames episode, yes. in which we covered the vast scape of information that's out there on YouTube and Google regarding Twin Flames, mm-hmm. an expose docu series was released on Netflix called Twin Escaping. Flames. Escaping Twin Flames Universe. Universe. Forgot that first part. Let's do it again. Okay. Es- Escaping, Escaping Twin, Twin Flames, Flames Universe. Universe. <laughs> I took my Caitlin impression. Escaping. <laughs> it's out. out there. <laughs> I love I love you. <laughs> it's so pretty. You're so pretty. <laughs> I love how you like say words and they're like just the juiciest. You get all of it out of the words. I try to get juicy. I love it. (laughs) It's part of my hypnosis. Yes, it's very seductive. (laughs) I'm actually. 
actually extremely awkward in real life. So when no, you meet me you're in like a pro. Target, like, don't be surprised. You're a pro. Oh, God. Yeah, me too. Like, hey, love I'm your like, podcast. Uh, <laughs> Hi. I'm actually a bridge troll. I when am we're a not bridge sitting troll. here. <laughs> Truly, I'm a bridge troll. I might ask you a riddle. I might run away. Uh- <laughs> I might defecate as I run away because I'm scared. That's a joke because we have a new puppy and she's she's real scared and she's shits when she just shit when Caitlin came over right now. So I might do that. I understand. Have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Twin Flames. Um, Twin Flames. This show really yeah. went on a deeper dive um, of the <clears throat> Twin Flames universe organization situation. Yeah, the ch- the Church Whew. of Union is what they've the registered church themselves of as. Union. Um, so I'm gonna shuffle these and uh, see what comes out because, like, hmm. the devil. I was just thinking that. I was just going to say, if it's not the devil, I don't want to do this episode. Is this the episode where we choose the card? <laughs> I'm like, is there a card for just general awfulness? This nine, the 10,000 of swords? Like, what do we... <laughs> I should do an exaggerated tarot deck where it's like everything is just like everything extreme. Everything awful. It's like everything, oh my God, write that down, babe. Write that down. And everything is awful, tarot deck, where all the cards are bad. Please, I need, I need another project. Oh my God. That I'm would be cry. so funny. I can't. I'm wearing stick on boobs right now and oh, I'm laughing so I'm hard sorry. they're going to fall off. I should probably get one. I'm like an episode of Friends right now. I got nipples out. Well, normally I wouldn't wear a bra at all, but this, this no, lace on this is 1000% see through. Yeah. Like, Free the nipple, Caitlin. Yeah, the I, nipple. it would have been one thousand percent free, and we wouldn't have been able to put this on YouTube if you know, I had not put the stick on boobs. I, on. I did consider us doing a promo where we just dance naked to the Saltburn song <laughs> to murder on the dance floor. No, because Brian was literally saying, "I think you two need to like no. do a Saltburn promo." Okay, I'm obsessed. Literally with yesterday, we I'm could obsessed do with salt the burn. bathtub. <laughs> I can honk your crave. <laughs> I'm down. That's so weird. Brian, be our new marketing agent. (laughs) That is so. But I literally pictured it. I think it was yesterday. I was just being like, it's a motor. I was like, can we get a mansion somewhere where we can do this? He was like, y'all need to get like an Airbnb or something, or we could rent something on like pure space. It's just (laughs) funny. I would do it. Oh, man. We should really just do it. Yeah. I don't care. We should also do like a promo photo, like the Buckingham Knicks album cover of Lindsay and Stevie Topless, but it's us. Yes. We need to reenact (laughs) With our hair so big. Yes. Oh, my God. I just love it. If you subscribe to our Patreon, you can finance these ideas. Yes, you can finance these wild (laughs) And we'll credit you as a producer or something. I don't know. (laughs) We'll thank you verbally on the podcast. Um, oh. Should we start doing that? Yeah, I think I'm avoiding talking about these holes. <laughs> Go on. Okay. So I pulled the Five of Cups, um, which is a card about grief and about being so distracted mm. by what consumes us that we are unable to see the goodness that already exists around us. Oy. And the song lyric is... <laughs> isn't it ironic? Um, not Alanis. Oh, I was like, oh, did I miss that as <laughs> the card? And you could have it all, my empire of dirt. Mm. I will let you down. I will make you hurt. I was just watching a clip of Dolly Parton in the new June documentary where she talks about how horny she is for Johnny Cash. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Wow, this no, is... this is a good card. Mm-hmm. I will let you down. I will make oh, you I hurt. Oh, I think that was Nine Inch Nails before it was Johnny Cash, right? Yes. Nine Inch Nails. That is first. the best, one of the best covers ever done. Oh, so good. But like that ultimately is, oh my God, the Empire of Dirt is making me think I was of like, well, you again. Know, <laughs> look, Empire of shit? <clears throat> Empire of Dirt? I would call Twin Flames Universe an, an Empire, Empire of, of dirt. dirt. For sure. And they will let you down. down. They will. Mm-hmm. It's, that card really reminds me of, 
as awful as the documentary is and how ridiculous it is to me watching, seeing like there was one participant particularly that was at a very low point in their life, Mm -hmm. like very low, like had just gotten in like a car accident or something and was like sick. And like, that was the only thing that they felt welcomed into. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, not knowing what you have and jumping into something that's worse than even the worst situation that you're in and not knowing that reminds me of that card. Mm -hmm. Well, and like, I think that's very cult 101 and something that twin flames does and also like teal swan does yeah allegedly allegedly um is they're really good at like seo and naming their youtube videos yeah which by the way if you quit twin flames and you were the people naming the youtube videos come name ours (laughs) yeah can you please because you're real good we would love to come up in all the searches yeah um i digress (laughs) But they're really good at naming things and SEO so that when people are at their lowest points yeah. and searching shit on the internet to try to find some sort of help, some mm-hmm. sort of connection, that's who comes up. Mm-hmm. It's them. And they're here to help you. It's them. Mm-hmm. What winners? I can't believe that these two people are attracting <clears throat> so many people. It, one, gives me confidence and two, disturbs me. Because these people are clearly narcissistic, clearly unhinged. Unhinged. Unhinged human beings. And quite frankly, aren't that like attractive emotionally, mentally, physically? Like they're not not even like for a for a hot twin flame. And he thinks he's so hot. I don't understand. And the quality of the videos are just not good. I know. The lighting's bad. Like Nothing about it screams, <clears throat> I should trust these people. No. So what is it that makes people trust these people? Vulnerability, desperation, the desire to be loved and feeling hopeless and finding love in a world that yeah. makes it really hard to find genuine connections. Yeah. You know, like when your options are Tinder or yeah, you know, like everybody who... I'm in community with who is single, who wants to find partnership. They're all like, it's so rough out there. Yeah. It's so rough out there for queer people, for the heteros. Like, it's rough. Mm -hmm. And I think a big part of it is because, like, capitalism capitalism has really drained us so much of Mm. our ability to foster genuine connections with people yeah you know everything's disposable in this society mm-hmm. yeah. honestly the biggest problem is like sorry cis men <laughs> sorry cis men sorry cis men okay. but you should be sorry <laughs> should be sorry <laughs> but like laura like we are you and i are extremely lucky oh no i feel very lucky to like mm-hmm. not just be in a partnership but like like just have someone I actually like. Yeah, a partnership with somebody who actually yeah. likes us, yeah. who we actually like. Being who around. likes me back, and I don't feel like I need to stalk in order to. Yes, <sighs> it's so rare, and I think that's what pulls people into these spaces. Yeah, that promise they literally guarantee on their website yeah. that they will connect you with your match. Yeah, with your twin oh, flame match, they will. All right, they will even if it's even by if force. It's by force, and even if it's within only the people that are in the Twin Flames <laughs> yes. universe, um, they have a good. Uh, they're really good at sort of finding dead ends and then diverting them into some message or mm-hmm. calling or oh, this new dogmatic like they message. change the rules. They change the rules constantly mm-hmm. so that you're they're never they never come out looking wrong mm-hmm. when i mean to an out to an inside yeah. eye they, they'll look right if you're already in it if you're already in it yeah and if you don't they'll you'll leave and you'll get out mm-hmm. of it but it's or they're they'll sneaky. kick you out <laughs> or they'll kick you out yeah. it's it's really scary well, that part like really <laughs> oh my gosh <clears throat> fascinated and disturbed me when yeah you know this group became mostly women yeah. seeking love yeah. and partnership right and then they were all getting upset because they're like, okay, we've been paying you all this money and going to all the classes for God knows how long. 
why are we still not finding our match? And then Jeff and Shalia were like, actually, the rules have changed. Yeah. Your match can only come from within the Twin Flames universe. And all these women were looking around and like. It's all women. Most, like a lot of us are not gay. So uh, how does that work? Well, guess what? One guess of you what? is the masculine and one of you is the feminine. Uh -huh. And there were people that were like, I don't identify as masculine. Mm -hmm. They were like, no, you're the masculine one. They probably flipped a coin. Yeah. And we're like, Caitlin's the masculine one. And yeah. Laura's the feminine one. I mean, yeah. we think, I think it'd be reversed if it were, if we were in a Who partnership, knows? but hey. But I think like, we take the, turns. I think switches. we take turns. <laughs> but like the, uh, the idea that you can't divert from that is disturbing. And that they were <sighs> weaponizing like, the trans experience yeah, that was very very disturbing to me and really f forcing a lot of these yeah. people like to embody masculine energy in a feminine in a cis woman's body was not enough no like you have to transition into yeah. life as a man. And, and people have and done And they were that. doing at it. At their suggestion, <clears throat> not at the person transitioning's yeah. impulse or, you know, desire. Like yeah. it was them saying, and people would do it. Mm -hmm. And that, oh, and it that makes me really sad because like being that desperate to have identity and love mm -hmm. and the lengths that these people are going through mm -hmm. is, it makes me want to just like, hug them and be like look like this isn't it this is not it these people are shady. awful shady oh god and i just feel like you know the world already hates trans people enough like this is not helping our yeah case. yeah this is not like yeah. they were making people transition to then fit into these heteronormative binaries of man and woman. It had nothing to do with like going beyond binaries no. and really getting to know yourself and exploring gender on your own. It was whatever Jeff channeled. Whatever Jeff channeled? Like these people are losers. I'm sorry. They're like losers. I'm going to be real mean allegedly. girls right now. They're allegedly losers. But they would be in our burn book for sure. They're in my burn book. <clears throat> I don't. They're just delusional people themselves and probably deeply troubled and unhappy and they need therapy, therapy and jail time. Okay, one or the other. Maybe both. Like, I don't... The audacity that they have is, is mind-blowing mm -hmm. to me. The audacity to say, I am this power. I am the source of... Mm -hmm. Like, I could never They're like, do that we are the only people. ones on earth who can channel who your twin flame is the only ones on earth like, sanctioned to do that i can't process mm -hmm. that audacity like okay. that's where i get tripped up and then the audacity continues when oh, it's so they decided audacious. to become a church uh, yeah. the church of unions for yeah. tax purposes yeah. really and they posted a video where shalia said that she had this vision that god came to her and told her that jeff was the second coming of christ yeah and jeff was like yeah i was looking at all these pictures of christ and like yeah. none of them showed yeah. first of all he said like christ was an israeli man and christ was palestinian israel didn't exist yeah um he's like all the pictures of jesus are a, a white european man with blue eyes and brown hair who looks exactly like me wow so the paintings of christ weren't even of the original one they were paintings of me like dead ass, like looks us in the eye. <laughs> looks us in the eye with all the audacity. The Delulu. <laughs> that I would like to take a little bit of for my own self I wish I could be that confident. Can you break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar? Have mercy. I, true, I just don't even know without clinical uh, knowledge of psychology, what the f*** to say about the that. F and, like, is it narcissism or is yeah, it just, like, delusion. capitalism? Like, is it just he's I so mean, committed to the bit? <laughs> I get that. Same. I'm like, are, do you really think that or are you just, like, keeping the money flowing? That's what I want to know. Because, okay. My intuition I, is I that. I think that they know they're I think so too. That's my intuition. Think... Not like Mother now, God. There's another documentary called Is it Mother? No, the uh it's about Mother God who which was another cult. Love Love is one. Love has one. 
that person really believed that they I were. really do think she was deeply I do believe that she was deeply in a delusional. state of delusional yes and delusion. believed that she was God yeah and a manifestation in a person because of what consequently happened which is an we'll, we'll another, a whole it, it was that. like it just <clears throat> we'll get it, there <laughs> they passed away okay yeah. like that it led to her demise yeah um committing to the bit led to the demise yeah but it's not a bit for her like no. for these she this really couple i it. really believe that they're when the cameras are off they're like oh look at these idiots like whatever i think so to too starbucks i think they're laughing at everyone yeah i do think the they're scenes. laughing at everyone i do think they i can tell like you can tell because they're not even good speakers. No. I, I don't, I understand how people that are very charismatic can draw you in and get you cult. That's a cult leader trait is like being really good at talking and mm-hmm. get, but these people have no charisma. They have no, they have yeah. no charisma <laughs> at all. And I'm like, but, what? I, I don't, I just, I'm kind of dumbfounded but by But they have the something thing. that the people want. Answers, Which is a marriage. A marriage. Love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm. One of the things that really disturbed me, mm-hmm. amongst all the d- things that disturbed me, was the emphasis on the woman submitting to the man in every yeah. way. That and was... what was her name? Keely? The like main girl that the documentary follows. I don't remember. She's like the main person who she was very early in the yeah. Twin Flame yeah. universe. And oh, became, I remember now. She became like a part of the problem. She but was. But she was repentant. The sister of someone else the in the yeah yes. the girl with the curly hair. Yes. Um, oh yeah. But she was talking. There's like this clip of her saying that like she and her husband were struggling because he her thinks husband, he should be able to do whatever he wants whenever he wants. Whom she was matched with. Yes. In the cult. Mm-hmm. They actually met cult. outside of the cult. They met oh, they at work. Did? Yes. They met oh, at work. And then he kidding. moved to the other side of the country. And Jeff was like, what are you doing? That's your twin flame. Oh, Go get on a plane. got it. Okay. So they, mind. she f- jumped on a plane, moved to Oregon. Oh, to that's right. That's right. That was the, I'm thinking of the other, and the then blonde, they got her married. sister and the other, yeah. And the sister thing is wild yeah. too. Okay. So like the whole thing is about being, Jeff's like, you have to, sub- like, if you're taking away his masculinity, you're sucking away his masculine energy, and nobody's going to want to fuck if, like, they're all- so it's much of it is about sex. All blaming. All blaming her. Like, you have to want to have sex with all them the time. all the time. It's in, like, the book. Yeah, like, you can't, you have to give your man yeah. this. You can or never deny his him sex. unhappiness is your fault. Yes. Which is textbook misogyny yeah. 101. 101. Like abuse 101 yeah. abusive relationship 101 like that's <laughs> encouraging abuse yes. to mat like to fit into some like weird like abuse as a dogma yeah to further the cult's agenda like it's just so twisted it's so fucked up and archaic and there's gonna be so many rivets this episode <laughs> ribbit 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 <laughs> okay and then when like Keely was sharing about this, they showed a clip where Jeff admits to assaulting Shalia and she's giggling about it because he was like the other day she was getting dressed and I was like, I'm going to kiss you. And she was like, no, stop, don't. And I was like, no, you want this. And so he kept at it. He kept at it. And she kept saying, no, no, no. And then I threw her on the bed and got uh-huh. on top of her. Yeah. And then we were making out and then she was giggling. I was like, oh, that's fuck. happened to a lot of us. That's literally assault. That's he's admitting to SA. it. Like, that's SA. Yeah. He's admitting to it. And making it like, oh, we. This is normal. This is like, it is. When cis women say no, they mean yes. Agenda. That's it is what, the cis male agenda. It truly is. And it's masked as, as this like elevated spiritual. That just makes yeah. me want to throw up. Yeah. Truly. It's, ugh. Yeah. It's so toxic. It's so gross. It's weird. It's toxic masculinity masquerading as a spiritual awakening. Mm. It really is. Like, it's, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's hard to have words. I, it's just, no, you I feel it. so bad for these people. Me too. That are clearly like good people that are mm-hmm. just easily, they were very easily hooked in by this community Mm -hmm. and i think the sense for community too is a big problem within like cults in general is like you want to belong to something you want to feel 
like you're a part of something and if you lack that you're an easy target mm -hmm. or cult uh because they assimilation it or yeah. you know it, it's really really dangerous mm -hmm. and it can happen to like anybody and i know i say like it could never happen to me but like it could it could you know with how yeah. depressed like i was in i don't th i mean that's when i was watching these things but like yeah i mean you never know you never know how low you're gonna get mm -hmm. and these Hello people are predators these they people are. are fucking predators they are predators allegedly they allegedly <laughs> We'll do a disclaimer. All of this is alleged. <laughs> this is all alleged. We'll have to do that um, at the beginning. But, okay. Speaking of, like, being her oh, fault. Yeah. They have this thing called the mirror exercise. Uh-huh. And whenever there's something going wrong in your twin flame union, person's running away, y'all are fighting, whatever, Jeff and Shalia will tell you, allegedly, to use the mirror exercise. And the mirror exercise is, okay, it, it goes like, um, he's hitting me. I'm hitting myself. He's berating me. Oh, I'm berating myself. He doesn't love me. I don't love myself. And, and it places all the blame on the individual. On you. That is psychological abuse of yourself major manipulation like everything is your fault mm -hmm. therefore you'll your self-confidence is low and you're less likely to leave the cult or speak up because mm -hmm. everything is your fault it's mm -hmm. very you're not trying hard enough it mm -hmm. breaks you down and that's what cults do too it they break you down. they break you down emotionally mm -hmm. over time so that you're weak and they can take advantage mm -hmm. of you and take your money Oh, okay. And even when folks were coming to Jeff with their concerns, Jeff would say, you need to mirror that. Mm -hmm. You need to mirror that. It's How not convenient. me. It's you. Yeah. You don't have a problem with me. You have a problem with you. Yeah. Sick. Okay. And then they funded, founded, because they have like 50 different sub businesses, mm. right? They have like Divine Dining, which is their meal planning service. What? Which is $100 a month. Right. Is it good? Um, so apparently <laughs> it's very carb heavy and they made oh, everyone, no, they made everyone in twin flames sign up for it a hundred dollars a month and they all gained And they gained a Oh, because Jeff likes gaining weight. Because Jeff likes it. He thinks that's physically attractive. Yeah. So then, and like, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with, with that, being whatever way you want or need to be or are. But dietary restrictions one way or the other yeah. are a cult trait. Exactly. Controlling, Controlling even what you eat. Even, even you if eat. it's a lot of food mm -hmm. or a little, mostly it's. Typically, they starve you. Yeah. Or being, uh, you know, skinnier is like mm -hmm. divine or whatever. But in this case, it was like the opposite. Which you know, send me some pasta. I'm like whatever. <laughs> give a fuck. But okay. But that's an odd choice in this like Eurocentric world where like thinness is equated with you know goodness, yeah. worthiness. Yeah. All these women were like putting on a lot of weight, and that only lowers their self esteem even more. Yeah. Especially if it's not weight that they're usually comfortable with. Yeah. And then it makes them stay in these unhealthy spaces because their self worth. Yeah. Goes and down. Everyone's even more. doing it together. Yeah. So they're like, oh, this is fine. But, you know, eating those foods all the time is not healthy. You gotta balance. You gotta have balance. I, yeah, I mean, that could be a part of the suppression or just uh, something that he did on a whim. Or he's just stupid. He's an yes. Asshole. Cause he's not a fucking nutritionist. No. <laughs> or any, like, or oh anything, God, or really. Anything he's a at grifter. All. He's, a, yeah. he's a GD grifter, a goddamn grifter. Okay. A GD like, grifter. allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> And okay, one of the other things they have is called MAP, which is like Mind Ascension Program. And oh, they God. say that any physiological or mental or spiritual sickness ailment can mm. be remedied through MAP. And it's basically like the mirror exercise on steroids. Mm. And people would spend like thousands of like, oh, if I can't get them by wanting love, I can get them by wanting healing. And so like, oh, <laughs> cancer sucks. I it's my fault I have cancer. Yeah. I gave myself cancer. Yeah. If you're mirroring it. Like what oh, that goes into what so much in other... the fork? 
That's like so much other love and light, spiritual, your vibration is off and that's why you're sick crap. Yes. It's it's exactly the same. Goop adjacent, weird. Yes. It's that love and light. It's that it it they all feed into each other mm-hmm. and they're just like this big monster. Mm-hmm. It's uh, Yeah. It's really scary. It's scary. Because people that we've like know and not personally, but like people like our friends, our followers, our clients, like those people, people that are spiritually open Mm -hmm. are vulnerable. Yes. In this day and age, because I mean, I guess, you, yeah, no, it's worse now because it's just they're they're allegedly predatory. They're Mm -hmm. catch They're They put nets out for you. Mm -hmm. They're fishing you. And literally, literally. And if you don't actively protect yourself and disengage and cut off people that are trying to recruit you, because even there was a Keely, mm-hmm. she got her sister into this thing and her sister ended up being in a very unhappy marriage with someone who like was a dangerous, abusive, a dangerous allegedly, and like wasted part of her life. Mm-hmm. These poor people, like I... I don't know. I just don't know how they can look to Jeff and Shalia as leaders of anything, quite frankly, when they're so clearly creepy. 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 I just, it, (laughs) I don't. So creepy. It's just, they're so creepy. Okay. Okay. Speaking of creepy. Oh, yeah. So one of the things they talked about. <laughs> oh no, is it the baby oh, it? thing? Yes. Oh god, oh, no. You're psychic. So one of the things they no, talked about was god, that no. everyone on oh, earth has no. one twin flame, oh, no. right? So twin flames are always partners, hence twin. <laughs> but Jeff and Shalia, the prophets, if you will, are actually in a three, three. a three a, a, tri. Tri, a tri flame. A tri flame. Right? And the third flame is their unborn daughter, Grace. Yeah. Grace is not here. At least Grace at the time of the it. video, at the time that the dis- documentary came out, Grace didn't make I don't it think Earthside. Grace make it, made no. it Earthside. And- so here's some interesting things. Yeah. One, they were doing IVF not because they were struggling to conceive, but because they, they wanted, wanted to, to make control sure the gender. they had a girl, yeah. a, a biological girl, right? Because yeah. Just because somebody's born with a vagina doesn't make them a girl. Right, but, but in yeah, their minds, be... in their sick ass minds, they wanted to make sure that the body matched the gender of the spirit, right? And then the next thing is that mm. Grace will be required to be celibate. Grace will only be allowed to have sex with God. Yeah. But who's the reincarnation of? That's where it gets creepy. <gasps> oh my god, it didn't even hit That's, me. I'm like, this is getting very. If if Jeff is the look, I'm not saying if Jeff allegedly. Is if Jeff god is God incarnate, and she can only answer to God. And look, that's how I took it when I watched it. I was like, there's going to be some stuff going on. So, Grace. Oh, I hope you're in a better place. Um, because oh my god, holy crap! You just blew. I, it was already creepy for me, no, and it's now really... it's gotten even creepier. Holy sh, Laura! I know you're right, though. I mean, I hope you're not right, but whatever. I you I probably are. <gasps> and you know what? That's like a cult thing too. Yeah, like cults love to abuse kids. Yeah, it reminded me of like christian with like the mm-hmm. whole like the celibacy or the i'm like what? oh and that other cult what was it called like children of god oh yeah yeah the, the, it's it's a thing uh-huh. it's a thing so i don't know where that was going but that's what i thought it was wait, going to get wait to. okay speaking of children of god which mm. google it we're not gonna get into that right now um <laughs> <laughs> um I remember Keely saying that when Jeff and Shalia were in the like process of trying to get pregnant, they had acquired land, mm. um, and they told all the members, oh, yeah. that they were going they to were have gonna everybody ha- mm-hmm. move there, move to the land, and they're the going to make this farm. And one of the requirements was you'd be expected to have, have children. children. And Jeff and Shalia, Jeff specifically, would dictate who has children, yeah, with, with who. who. So he's creating this whole, it's just, um, I 
if anyone sick. out there is has experience with these people and is in this, maybe you're listening and you're in this. I get out. <laughs> It's like the movie Get Out times get out. 10, like get, get out. out, like reach out to there has to be some sort of group that helps people get out. Just get out, please. Please get out. Please. These people are awful and scary. They're and scary. It's like not even funny. It's, it's not funny. It's frightening. And people have joined out of, you know, trolling, like mm-hmm. people join now and they're not actually like they just join it to join Mm -hmm. just to see how wild it is and uh report back you know and um yeah that's a thing but if you're not one of those people if you're like actually considering that you might have a twin flame you don't you don't twin flames are not real let's recap yeah Twin flames were a made up concept. Let's see, I can get to, I have, we're gonna get I the, have the notes from talk, our first episode. Yeah, it's a but made up listen concept. Listen to our last episode on twin flames. Yeah. Um because it goes over the, the we we touched on Jeff and Shalia, but not fully because we didn't know how bad it was with the two of them. Yeah. Um Yeah. So there's so there's so many things. So the many The term things. is fun, but so it's, that's all it people is. People often accredit it to Plato, who talked about like um, souls being separated, that right. type of thing. Anyway, go back to the last episode on Twin Flames. I yeah. feel like we should be able to link it somewhere. Yeah, we'll link it. On the YouTube. We talk more about um, the history of it. We get it. into the history, but oh, the term Twin Flame comes from Barbara That's Marciniak, right. a white New Age spiritualist and a self-proclaimed trans channel and author. Um, she isn't explicitly suspicious, but... Uh, but that's the source. That's the source. And she's often... Her information is often circulated in QAnon spaces, alt-right spaces, yeah. like dark web spaces. I would say that's suspect. Um, which is suspicious. It's, it's been it's been taken and been mm-hmm. suspect. If this it started is suspicious, not. it stays suspicious. It's evolved suspicious. It's being used for nefarious purposes. Um, twin flames are not real. It's not real. Okay, and here's the thing. Who you are in this lifetime could be so different from who you are in the next one. And who's meant for you in this lifetime might not be meant for you in the next one. No. And twin flames promise this eternal partnership. Often conflicted. Mm -hmm. That's a part of it. Turbulent. It's chaotic. It's turbulent. Yeah. That doesn't sound nice. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. And that sort of problematic relationship can be exciting. Like, I've had relationships like that Mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, yeah, but it's not balanced. It's Mm -mm. not, it's not healthy. No. And to like promise people these like unhealthy relationships as like something to be coveted Mm -hmm. is odd. Um, and dangerous because if you normalize that your relationship should be that toxic, you're going to get hurt. Mm-hmm. Like, it's mm-hmm. really dangerous to promote the type of things involved with twin flames. Like, oh, yeah, you can stalk people. Someone went to jail, got out, and then went right back in the cult mm-hmm. because they were stalking their twin assigned yeah. twin flame. She had been. You can't do that. Yeah, she had a restraining order filed against her. Yeah, she backed off. And she went back and was like, "I don't think I can do went, this." And then she was encouraged, allegedly, to do it. Right. To do it again. And then she ended up at a nightclub. It was after she had stopped contacting her supposed twin. Oh flame. yeah, she allegedly and she went, out to a went was there the same night as the and person. They ended up arresting her and she went to jail yeah. for like a month. Yeah. Until her parents cashed in their retirement. Yeah. To bail her out. Most yeah. of your parents don't have retirements. Ew. Mine sure don't. No. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be in jail. <laughs> because um, of what? And it took getting kicked out for her to leave. She didn't even yeah. leave Twin Flames no. on her own. She started like questioning them 
and yeah. then they kicked her out. Relationships are important. This is going to sound very cheesy, but the most important relationship is with yourself. Mm. And mm-hmm. it's, I don't want to say, oh yeah, just be happy on your own because we want to be with people we want, but you're not going to find true happiness by forcing anything, by being in community with these awful people, mm-hmm. you know, and you know, find a hobby and like do something like go to That's a how you meet people. Go to pottery, like go do things. Get out of your yeah. house because these people are just on your screen. Sit at the park reading. They're like, just at home. Yeah. They're just a Zoom meeting mm-hmm. group, and that's not that's isolating. Like mm-hmm. I'm not here to give relationship advice, but like you need to love yourself and be happy on your own to a certain extent before you can like mm-hmm. be happy with someone else yeah. or expect some turbulence with that transition like and then it, it, it just when you're vulnerable like that if you feel awful about yourself like you're going to fall into these tra- the fishing mm-hmm. net that these people have out for you because they want your money because mm-hmm. i think these people are full of crap yeah i think they know that they're they know they're full of i think they know they're full of crap and they just because, the, like, we'd watch, like, some of those videos. They'd be like, oh, yeah, I just bought, like, so-and-so. Like, they know. Uh, yeah, like, she's dripping in Chanel. She's like, yeah, I just got, like, a Chanel. Like, they She's know. bragging about her first car. They're flaunting is, uh, their wealth Porsche. to their yeah. people that are funding yeah. their lifestyle uh-huh. through their pain. And it's just odd. Mm-hmm. No one's going to save you like that. No one's, one's gonna going you. to, if someone promises you something like that, it's, that's a scam. Mm-hmm. You know, life is hard and it sucks sometimes, but mm-hmm. find an actual therapist. That person mm-hmm. is trained to help you find like community you can trust, you know, even if that's, even if that's an organized religion, like, honestly, it's better than those people. I think. Yeah. Join a sewing circle. Sewing circle. Hobbies. Anything else. Anything else. Anything else. Community theater. Community theater. Like, yeah. Buddhist temple. I don't Start know. volunteering at a local grassroots organization. Yeah. Like, literally anything. Do something that your heart loves mm-hmm. and just do it as a hobby. Like, I, mm-hmm. I don't know. There's no... There's no us solving this problem on this podcast episode no. but i'm trying to like let people know that there's like options you're enough there's options mm-hmm. there's instead of spending your money on these scams Grifters. like pay for therapy yeah better help is a great resource you can sit if you're introverted and not have to leave the house and get therapy like mm-hmm. there's several ways to go about this you know so Oof. I, but it's hard. I know that Tinder and things like that are hard and I'm sure it's disheartening and I'm sure. Absolutely. I'm like, sure. Like love is hard right now. Speed dating. It is hard. It's hard. But they're not going to fix it for you. No. Like Jeff, Shalia, Twin Flames ideology in general, whether it's coming from them or any other YouTuber is not going to make it easier or no. better. Or happen faster. It's going to complicate it further Absolutely. and make you potentially do dangerous and illegal things. Yes. That could ruin your life Don't. and your reputation. So be very, very careful. Like we always say, use your discernment about any spiritual teachers. Ask their source, cite their sources, their training. Like, who are they? What do they believe? Do they believe in twin flames? Ask your spiritual practitioner that. Mm-hmm. If they say, no, absolutely not green flag for us Mm -hmm. if they say yes absolutely i can help you with that no Mm -hmm. maybe run or ask for further detail before you engage Mm -hmm. because people are rife to steal Mm -hmm. your spirit and your money Mm -hmm. right now it is everywhere like i know people who have been in cults yeah that aren't quite as problematic as that Mm -hmm. but i know of smaller like I, they're everywhere they're and everywhere. they can turn quickly the thing is like with cults i see now mm-hmm. they start out with good intent yeah and then somewhere along the line people get greedy mm-hmm. 
And then it just snowballs into something else. And it can happen while you're in a group. So if you are in a spiritual group, pay attention to what's going. That's led by somebody Mm -hmm. or people or whatever. Like if you're in a community like that, pay attention and ask questions, especially if you're giving them them your money. Like what's what what's going on? Ask mm-hmm. a lot of questions. If they don't like that, if you they're should weird about you out. asking questions, you shouldn't be there. Yeah. Like I love when people ask me questions. Yeah. I love it because I love to talk about what do I what I do. Yeah. I love to talk about where it comes from. I like to talk about how other people can engage with it. Like that's exciting for me. And I also love when people ask me questions because it means they can decide whether or not I'm an aligned practitioner for them. Yeah. I think that's a really good thing. Questions get me excited. But for a lot of these cult leaders, asking questions makes you the enemy. Mm -hmm. And like – They don't want people asking questions. No, because then the house of cards falls down. That's why they separate you from your family and friends that aren't in the cult because Mm -hmm. they will snap you out of it quickest. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Speaking of separation, like Mm – the way they were doing, like, the implanting of the false memories to separate oh. people, that was, like, part of the Teal Swan documentary, too. Yeah. And I'm implanting. not saying it's, it's impossible that, like, some of these adults of, yeah. experienced abuse at the hands of their families, but that it was every single person in the group. Repressed memories exist. Suddenly has. Suddenly experience of abuse at the hands of their families allegedly like it's just it's a little too convenient Uh uh-huh it's manipulative and it's a good way to tear them apart from their only other support yeah if you convince them that their families are out to get them then like you become the cult becomes all people have yeah wild it's really scary scarce we're scared. We're scared. <laughs> I'm just scared. I'm disturbed, and it's, it's. I'm disturbed, and they're still out there. And you know what? Things. It's funny. Like, like I was joking, and I was like, "Man, I should start a cult. I could totally start a cult. We could totally start a cult." Mm-hmm. But I'm like joking. I would never actually do that. But it's like these people jumpsuits. are so like blah to me i'm like wow if those people you just have to have audacity like (laughs) god damn but like people actually will think that and do it that's crazy people will see that documentary and go oh i can do that yeah i already have a a support group thing going i could i could turn it into an mlm or like something Ugh, MLMs are a whole nother topic. Really yeah. are cults too. Yes, the they MLMs. Are. And even Money okay, cults. uh the the Twin Flames universe is an MLM yeah. because they kept you recruit more coaches, you recruit yeah. more coaches, yeah. and then like they run out of there's people a to coach. strategy. There's a strategy to uh-huh. that that not all cults have. That's scary because uh-huh. they know how to grow. Uh-huh. Like with the Mother God cult, that was a pretty small it was disturbing and sad because of how small and isolated yeah. it was. And there was no. They had like online community. They had who gave online. Them money. Yeah, that's true. But it wasn't but the it, same. It wasn't the same like well thought out machine. It wasn't a business the way no, Twin Flames is it was a business. Just, I mean, they sold the colloidal silver. <laughs> they sure but did. like. Um... <laughs> <sighs> the scale wasn't there no or isn't i mean it's still a thing but like oh god i, I can't know. i can't even it's yeah they're both disturbing in in different ways in their own special um, ways man it, be careful just out please there, be folks. careful you can joke i have a pin that says twin flame it's like a jokey like valentine's day heart it's cute but it's, it's funny not it's a conversation heart thing yeah. it's twin flame the other one says birth chart please yeah. text you later like but I wouldn't print any more of those. That was like three years ago. You know, I'm, now that I know what I know now, I'm like, oh, it's funny. But I don't. But think I don't want to confuse people I who don't know I'm being yeah, funny. Like, I don't. When those run out, we're gonna just let those let go and out. replace it with something else. Because every time I see it now, I'm like, oh, this is so. I hate to inflame so much. I've. Yeah. Definitely worked with clients who I've had to help with, like releasing the brainwashing of twin flames even when you're not in a cult it's a thing like growing up i 
thought it was a thing, I guess, sort of. Because like, there's so much out there on the internet. There's yeah. so many books about it in New Age stores. It really makes you stay in crappy relationships longer than you should. That's what it really is. It allows, it m- lets you accept toxic at best, abusive yeah. at worst. Yeah. And really. think that this is, no, it's this because is we're exciting And this is, yeah. like, no, it's just one of those mm-hmm. relationships that's yeah. toxic. No, it's just not, on. this is just not a good match for you. <laughs> Yeah, it's really not the one. And if you get addicted to that feeling and that concept of it needing to feel a certain way, when something actually does come your way that's Mm -hmm. healthy and good, you might be like, it's not going to be interesting to you. Because there's a high that comes from like being in a toxic relationship. It's exciting all the time. Because like you might get murdered. You might get assaulted. Who knows? It might be (laughs) exciting. You might not like it that night. Who knows? knows? It's exciting. But then once you. Joking from experience. No, seriously. <laughs> um, so yeah, but when you, yeah, like when you find I would a healthy imagine relationship, when you, fo- you come from something like that mm-hmm. to something like good, you might be like, this is, this is boring. And then just live a life of chaotic romance. Yeah, which like is, maybe we're not maybe in that's love what you want. I because don't know. I don't feel that spark. And it's yeah, like, no, that spark like, was your fear. <laughs> Yeah. That spark your, was fight or yeah. flight. Yeah, that spark was a uh, that spark was like your body telling you to not to run, to run away. <laughs> like cocaine gave me that spark, but that doesn't mean I should keep using it. <laughs> right. Hmm. Uh, moderation. All things in moderation. Um. Ugh. Have mercy. Please, just don't do it. Be careful, friends. Be careful. Be careful. Be diligent. Be discerning. And also, like, get creative in the ways that you seek out community beyond mm-hmm. these clickbait. Uh, yeah, clickbait online spaces. Um, you know, like, I don't mean to sound like a doomsday prepper because I'm not one of those people, but like, who knows how long the internet will like be here to support yes, us? It's true. Shit's weird out there, man. Yeah. And by finding ways to cultivate community IRL, however you can, like, if you're not physically able to, that's one thing. Yeah. Um, but like, let's find ways to foster community outside of these types of spaces. That's not all encompassing. Mm-hmm. That's not all encompassing. Exactly. That don't take up your whole life. Yeah. But encourage you to create a full life. Yeah. That enhance your, your life. They exactly. don't take it away. Exactly. You should have goals mm-hmm. that aren't just seeking a relationship. Aren't also. the milestones dedicated within the group? Milestones yeah, 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 dictated yeah. within yeah. the group. Yeah. Because that's really what happens with them right they're all trying to achieve like harmonious union yeah like where is your energy going how much of it is going there like our milestones should be like whatever you want wanting to be a good human learning how to play an instrument buying your first car learning to play an instrument starting a business yeah that's not a cult making (laughs) a new friend those are all great being kind to someone volunteering learning a skill learning a skill Whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Gardening. Doing something exciting, like sky traveling. Or whatever. Those are all great goals. Those are great goals. That you can set for yourself that aren't being dictated to you by some false prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's weird. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Start a podcast. Start a podcast. Anyone can do it with the this, Spotify for Podcasters yeah. app. <laughs> If this stuff really gets to you, like, do a podcast on these things and spread the word about how crappy they are. And, For you know, make that your, if you want to be a journalist, be a journalist. Be a like, journalist. You don't need, yeah. You don't need you us. You can just do it. I mean, you can Start stay, a blog. But, yeah. Start a blog. Yeah. Like, take what we're saying and, like, do more research and, like, get go down that rabbit yeah. hole if you want to, like, of, of these types of things because it's real scary, mm-hmm. you know? There need to be more people Awareness. speaking out about these things. Yeah, I agree. Because right now, if you search it, let's search it right now. There's not a lot of, it's not all negative press. It's not like, our let's, opinions are more together. in the minority, I would say. I think so. I think, yeah. yeah. 
the skepticism I, people I know too. Or it's minority. like, ooh, but this, but this, but this. Like, there's a lot of but this I'm hearing from people, and I'm like, but no, but like, still no. listen to me because I have facts. Immediately no. Okay, yeah. let's Google it. Twin. Let's Google it. Flames, and then I'm going to search it on YouTube because okay. now I'm curious. Yeah, let's see what comes up first. Twin flames. So first is an article from Mind Body Green, which is Twin Flames, what, uh, what they are, and 11 signs you've found yours. That's the first thing. Allure Magazine. What is a twin flame, and how is it different from a soulmate? Hmm. Uh, Reddit thread on twin flames. And then we have Twin Flames Universe. So all four are, like, pro-twin flames. Those twin are your flame. top, uh-huh. And then you have like a little blip about escaping twin flames, the documentary. Okay. But then it's right back to it. Cosmopolitan, Eleven Signs, you've found your twin flame. Yeah, these these concepts infiltrate media, like big media. Mm -hmm. Very it's easily. It's goop. It's that kind it's of thing bait. where it's like it's clickbait, it's wellness and lifestyle but it's not quite witchcraft which they like to stay away from typically and well, it's like this very mm -hmm. i have like air quote air quote perma air quotes if you're not watching it's just it fits their agenda that mm -hmm. they need to make content well, when you think about like cosmo and allure like I mean, back in the day when it was oh god <laughs> uh, a physical magazine yeah. and we would walk down the grocery aisle and see them it was always yeah. like Five ways to make your man, man hot for you. Yeah. Um, six ways to lose weight in five lose minutes. Weight. Uh, twenty-five ways to give a blowjob that'll keep him coming back for yep. more. Like it was yeah. all about like yeah. the ways you can make yourself good enough to yep. receive heteronormative love from a man. Kind of like the mirror exercise, a little kind bit. Kind of like the mirror exercise. Kind of like what this whole twin flames universe is about. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense it that make a lot sense. of these magazines that are now online publications are talking about twin flames because it's popular yeah and it's right on track okay so let's see the priestess temple signs your twin flames is missing you this is from youtube Ugh. uh why do twin flames have to be so extremely hard because they're not real and you're forcing it only twin flames see these signs only twin they make um, it this like, oh, if you're only twin flames do this, only your twin flames mm -hmm. do that. Stages, inner union alchemy, the path to connection. How do you know if your twin flames Yeah, like this is none of this is bad. Like it's all trash to me. But <laughs> Yeah, to someone <laughs> like, it's like This is like, a oh, treasure this trope. is cool, you know. Twin flame I, I, this is part of the witchcraft commod commoditization spiritual awakening culture that we're in right now is like this is part of the learning curve i like to believe yeah that people are just all of a sudden like really into witchcraft and magic and like whoa what are and people are just intaking all these different concepts yeah. and things and regurgitate information and like twin flames and ooh and then people get curious and then people get caught in these traps because it's just everywhere which is good but also scary because there's so much out there and there's so much money to be made what did you just you're see? not crazy they are trying to call you in energetically Ugh. no oh we're gonna watch this later okay. twin flames universe leaders desperate to save face good oh oh i'm oh, saving that one <laughs> yeah, so there's it's there. It's the the content is there. There's it's, so much. There's so many twin flames tarot readings. Yeah, the kind of readings where like they all start with if you're watching this, this is for you. Oh yeah, stay away. Run. It's if not you're for watching you. This, if this you're watching this, you. this is for you. Like How no, special. if you're watching this, you're probably not sleeping. It's probably two a.m. and you're scrolling, and that's okay. I do it too. Yeah, me too. Um. But I mostly just watch drag queens put on makeup. I Google like, <laughs> how tall was Jesus? Or like random things. <laughs> random shit that comes into your Gemini like, ass brain. I wonder, yeah. I wonder what Joe Jonas is doing today. Literally. Is he okay? <laughs> How's he doing after the divorce from Sophie Turner? Like, celebrity trash is my side hobby. Yeah. Keeps For you, it's celebrity trash. For me, it's Bravo Liberties. Yeah. I don't have, I'm not a part Love of the Bravo, Bravo universe yet. Um, but yeah. Season like 11 of Vanderpump Rules is coming. 
I like some crap, you know. Is Elvis still alive? I don't know. I'm going to Google it. Yeah, fun shit. But I don't go to the cult of Elvis and start giving him my money. No. You can be curious, but just don't engage. Yeah. This you can be curious, but allow that curiosity to, like, sharpen your discernment, not break yeah. you Yeah. They'd be like, eh, that's weird, and yeah. then just run away. Like, don't run. Scamper off. Scamper <laughs> off into the woods. Like, we don't need to, we don't need to <laughs> let them see you. Be a, be Bigfoot. Just observe and hide yeah and teleport wherever i really want wanted go. for research sake to join the twin flames I, facebook group i know i'm bummed i didn't i'm I not just bummed to you see didn't what was it. i just wanted to you see don't what even was wanna there. you don't even want to do that i was going to make a whole fake facebook page oh that sounds fun though i know but mm. too much work i'm too tired yeah but if you know what's going on in the Twin Fames, Flames Facebook page, Message send us Caitlin. screenshots. Send me yeah. screenshots. I love. I will protect your identity. Yeah. I just want to know. We're just curious. <laughs> it's okay to be curious. Whew. Well. Well, thank you. It's lovely. This was lovely. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> I'm wildly uncomfortable with this whole thing. <laughs> Stay discerning, Ooh. my friends. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and thank you for listening to Third Eye Bind. Be sure to leave us a message on the Third Eye Line. See you next week. Ring, 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 thank you so ring, much for listening. Ring, 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 ring. You can follow the podcast at Third Eye Bind Pod on Instagram. There, submit your questions via the Third Eye Line by sending us a voice message or a text DM. The show is available wherever you listen to podcasts and for you to watch on YouTube. Get early access to episodes and even monthly one-on-one -on -one sessions with us by joining our Patreon. Find us at patreon.com slash third eye bind. Third Eye Bind is produced and edited by Mike Realm. Hosted by Caitlin Grania and Laura Wong. Music by Mike Realm. Set design by Laura Wong. You can find Laura on Instagram at Lady Moon Co. And you can find Caitlin at caitlin.grania. <laughs>